Aloha friends! Good afternoon! Um, happy spring! I think Pacific Northwest is finally getting spring. Uh, we are finally seeing a lot of changes here although um, we did have snow or a little frost. Not snow but a little frost this morning but I think spring is arriving. Um, I'm loving the lighting right now. But I wanted to share with you guys my, um, I don't know what to call this, like maybe my favorites, things that I have been loving and using within the past couple months. I want to say maybe after like the holidays. And um, these are like my go-to items, go-to products, things that I'm really, really liking a lot lately. And then maybe afterwards, um, I can give you guys a video of, you know, what's in my purse one of these days. Okay, so if you guys are interested in that, let me know. All right, <clears throat> let me start off with um, my basket, <laughs> my basket of goodies. And this basket, another thing I love, it's just a Dollar Tree basket, but every time I go to the Dollar Tree and I do find these baskets, I do pick up a couple so that I do have some um, universal color or like the same. Um, I put them everywhere, like into like the drawers, the kitchen drawers, the kitchen cabinets, the laundry room, um, and such. It's just so that they're all the same. Okay, that's one. That's just Chava. Every time I do a video, I hear him like, <sighs> okay, so that's just Chava. If you guys hear footsteps. <laughs> but okay, so a couple of these are just empties like this. I used this last today. Um, it's really empty and that's when I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and make this video I've been telling them that I was gonna probably make a video about like favorites or beauty favorites These are not all beauty, but these are just my favorites. So um, These are like the lotions I use now. I am a firm believer of body um, Body butter. I love the texture and the feeling that it leaves on your skin even after like hours um, it makes my skin really really soft now body shop has been my go-to for many years Satsuma and I've had this for over a year. So I think after I think they guarantee the product um, Within a year once you open it and then if because I know this has been open for maybe a year and a half or two years and I I've been looking for um, more to replace it so I was actually at the body shop I think last weekend so there's a couple of scents that I really want to try which is the kukui the Hawaiian kukui because I I tend to have the same issue as hubby as far as like very dry skin during the winter and I it had to be to the point that I had to use body butter on him and it, this was the only one I had left and you know it's a girly scent so he didn't care though because it was at night he goes I'll take whatever because my skin is really dry so I wanted to get another neutral scent and then I think the one that I um, opt for that I really like after trying a um, few of their scent was the Hawaiian Kukui so I'm gonna try that and then I'm also gonna replace this with another one um, body butter or the Sensi um, whip body souffle they're just a very different texture than um, than regular lotion. It just makes the souffle from Sensi just makes your skin feel very velvety soft. So I like that. Plus, it does smell good. And then the body butter, um, it has it locks in a lot more of the moisture. This one is from Victoria's Secret, and it's the sparkling citrus and body butter deep softening i really like this one as well too because it was really um even though it says uh sparkling citrus i found it to be very light in scent compared to like the body shop of the satsuma this one this one will last all day as far as like the scent you could still you could still smell it this one i i liked it because i could mix this um along with my perfume and so that's my next um topic with you guys is my perfume that I've been loving so I have two this one and then this one that I'm gonna show you this one has been my go-to perfume for over 10 years this is the Estee Lauder pleasure I still like it um, of course I'm gonna use this up until at the very end but I've been wanting like a really new scent and this one is it's not that it's super strong but it it lingers on it does and it's not light at all so it's more more in between of the light to the to the strong so it's just right in between I think that's why I really liked it 
and like I said, it lingers on. And I'm, you know, I'm still happy with the scent, but I wanted a change. I wanted uh, a new scent. And so hubby had gotten me this uh, for for Christmas, and this is the <laughs> Coco Chanel. And we had gotten this over, I think, at Macy's. I love this. It is, it is an amazing scent, and and I. I love it, but I don't feel that it lingers on um, like this one. Or maybe I'm just maybe because it is just a light scent. I do love this scent. Um, I it's amazing. It's it's a good scent. But I feel that maybe I don't know. Maybe my nose is just really accustomed to it now because I have been using this for a couple of months. Hubby got this for me for Christmas. That my nose just you know um, is used to it. So okay. But love that. And then this one is not a beauty product. It's a my Sensi. You guys know I'm a Sensi consultant. But my go-to scent for hmm, two months, two months now is blueberry cheesecake. So I always have an empty um, Sensi <laughs> Sensi bar because currently I just replaced um, a scent and I did put. Um, a blueberry cheesecake so I do have one handy so I don't put them away anymore it's just lingering somewhere around the house so that I can easily find it and replace it so this has been my go-to go-to scent and then the makeup that I'm loving is um, this one this is from Benefit and it is the Hello Flawless and I have two different shades one is for my summer um, skin and then one is for the winter although over here in the Pacific Northwest I've noticed that there's not really that much of a change in difference compared to how I was um, how it was when I was in California because over there summer was just like really blazing hot and I would get super dark but the reason I love this is one it's more affordable than what I've been accustomed to using which is the Lancome um, uh, liquid and Jonathan's trying to come in but um, one it's I think like $36 and then the, the other one is that it's a nice pump so when the when you pump it it actually goes up until um, it's empty so love that because the other one I was using the Lancome it was a like a $56 bottle and then it was also a pump but it just had um, like a tube thing to where you're pumping and then it's sucking out um, from the bottom but some of the makeup would linger on to the sides so I would get like a like a q-tip and you know like truly because it was expensive but this one look at this it started from the bottom and you see how clear that is so then that means that it's really using up the product really well to your um, to your advantage okay so love that and then another makeup I'm loving is the Tarte powder I've had this for I think over a year now it's a clay powder I love um, Tarte brand Danielle uses Tarte brand because she's allergic to a lot of the um, the um, like the drugstore makeup she cannot have that she has very very sensitive skin so I've um, I've introduced her to Tarte when she started using um, makeup another makeup is um, this is the Boing from Benefit um, concealer this one says industrial strength and I love it because it doesn't make my face oily it um, it does do its job of really concealing concealing it and then um, it just really works together um, with the benefit um, liquid okay makeup and then another makeup is I love my naked palette this is my go-to palette I have a lot of makeup too many actually and I've been trying to just really purge and go through my makeup especially the lipstick so the lipstick I don't want to keep it for more than like six months so I've been throwing it out and I have um, I have a lot of colors, but the, this one is one of my go-to. It's actually one that I'm wearing now. This is 150 from Revlon, and it is the Coco Bronze in color. So I like that. I think it really goes well with my skin. But this is the original Naked palette, and as you guys can see, um, this one and this one, it's like my go-to color. So I like this. It just goes well with a lot of my... Um, my outfits because a lot of my outfits are just like the the basic color of just black gray and white I like to stay into the neutral zone okay last one as far as like makeup products or beauty products so this one 
is coconut oil and this is actually my bathroom coconut oil so I have one in the kitchen and then I have one in the bathroom Trader Joe's organic um, organic virgin coconut oil and like I said this is just specifically for the bathroom you can put this on your hair if you need an instant like a hot oil treatment so what you need um, so for the instant hot oil treatment what you do is just get, gather up some coconut oil rub it on your hand and as soon as you rub it in your hand it doesn't matter what season it is it may be during the summer or during the winter like right now it's cold up in my bathroom and this is like as solid as you can get but as soon as you get that you see as soon as you get it and then rub it into your your hand it just li liquefies that's the right word and I've been, I, I like it. I like the smell of, I mean, I'm not going to lather myself up with coconut oil and then, okay, I'm ready for the day. I do use coconut oil at night um, because then it's not bothersome because it took me a while to really get used to the smell of coconut oil. But it does help me a lot with my, with my eczema or my dry skin or um, dry scalp. So I would, for my hair, I would um, get some and then lather up my hair and put a cap like a shower cap over it and let it stay there until I'm ready to shower that night so it'll stay there for like 30 or one hour or, you know two hours like that but as I'm doing my chores for the evening I'll let it sit there and then I'll um, shower up for the evening and then really use up a nice um, good shampoo and conditioner then it does make a difference with my hair but also like during the winter I don't know because I, I don't use um, flip-flops but I still get dry dry feet put into my feet after I shower and then put my socks um, and then I'll go to sleep so then it's actually working as I'm sleeping and when I wake up in the morning I'm, I'm just, I love it because my feet is so smooth and so soft it's like slippery on my hardwood floor my laminate floor but it feels so so super soft so try that for like two days straight and i guarantee you guys you will have really nice soft um soft feet and again for your dry spots if you have eczema i've been using this on danica she has really bad eczema right now so sometimes i don't want to use the medicine because like um hydrocortisone she has a two and a half percent or before it was like Eladel for eczema, but Jonathan uses this, Danielle uses this. It works on everything, lip moisturizer for your face, um, all that stuff. So I really like um, coconut, coconut oil. All right, so this is the, I think it's 48 millimeter um, Apple Watch. And this one came out, I don't know, I think September of last year. So I don't know what generation that is, but it is not the GPS, it's just a regular, uh, regular Apple watch and it comes into the I think this is black on black and I like it because I use it for like um, to monitor my sleep my uh, my heartbeat and also for the gym as far as your activity and apps like especially it's really nice especially when I'm driving and then over here it's a new law that you can't you can't touch your phone so so I, you know, as I'm driving, a call comes in, I just tap it, and then I'm talking as I'm driving. So it's, you know, hands-free. But not only that, so that when, like, I'm busy, and especially if you're working and you have a meeting, and but you still want to get connected with your kids and you can't pick up your phone, your alerts are in here as far as your mail notifications or your message alert, so that when I'm, I may not, I may not be able to pick up my phone, but still, I'm able to still connect to it and I can see who's calling. And even though this is not um, a GPS watch to where the GPS Apple Watch is where you can leave your phone at home and still be able to connect to your phone through your watch, I do get a good signal with my phone. If my phone is in my purse or if my phone is like in the back seat of the car, I still get connection to where the, the watch connects to my phone and then I can answer a phone call without having to look for my phone of where it's at near me. So really loving that. And then my valentine's gift from hubby and the kids was um the echo and then the the dot so this i love alexa so this is just really a great product to have around the home um if we want to say alexa good morning and then alexa says good morning this is the top news of the day or the weather today is this and this and that so it's really nice to have like you know especially if you're home alone to have a conversation like you want to conversate but you don't want to conversate with yourself because people think you're crazy 
you can conversate with Alexa. So Alexa tells you jokes, Alexa tells you information of music that you're interested in. Or we just say, Alexa, play the most popular songs and then she's playing music or else Danny will cheat on her homework and say, Alexa, what is 398 times 452? And then Alexa gives her the answer. So we try not to do that. But Alexa, um, the Amazon, Amazon Echo, Amazon Dot is really like a, a fun product to have around the home. I believe Hubby had gotten it as a combo for like $115 back during Valentine's Day. So that really was a great deal for both of them. Okay, and then the last item that I'm loving. I'm liking um, Filofax in this size. And then I have the large size. And this is more for my... Um, like my appointments, maybe the kids' school appointments or dentals or deadlines or um, reminders. Um, so I use that, not necessarily for um, any, um, basically anything that deals with, um, with, with the family. I put it in here and then anything that deals with business aspect um, for me, maybe for photography or for YouTube or for Sensi, I keep it um, in here. So. so that's it friends. Um, those are all my favorites so far that I have been using in the past um, couple of months and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, next time maybe I can show you guys what I carry around on um, in my purse. So I tend to change my purse a lot. So it just depends on the weather also in the season so this is currently my purse and this one and i'm loving this as well so i wanted to show you guys and this is um a coach um coach soft leather this is one of my favorites got them um, i think hubby got this for me maybe three three years ago not sure but uh took her out and um, have been enjoying her so i'm trying to prep myself up for for spring now that it's here i am really enjoying the weather i hope to see you guys soon mahalo